Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to learn three helpful tips for SharePoint lists. Lists are a type of library in Office 365. Rather than saving files and folders to this library, users and teams customize the type of information that they collect with their custom columns. They're essentially living, breathing Excel sheets that are easily customizable, and you can quickly add columns to then collect that type of information in the list items. Here's a few helpful tips to help you with SharePoint lists. Tip number one is exporting to Excel. While lists are oftentimes better than using an Excel sheet to track information, we can use lists to create an Excel sheet that updates with all the information that have been gathered by users. This Excel sheet will be able to pull the information from the list for us to be able to receive updates from it. When users add items to the list, we can quickly update our Excel sheet with the click of our mouse. To export to Excel, just be within the list in SharePoint or Microsoft Teams. From the ribbon, select the Export to Excel drop-down option and then choose Excel Workbook. You'll download a file and we'll open it. It'll ask us to enable the query. This dialog box is just asking us if it's okay to download information from the web. Select Enable and you'll see the list appear as a table in your Excel sheet. This Excel sheet is now linked to the Microsoft list, and we can update and refresh our Excel sheet with new information that's been added by selecting the Refresh option within the Data tab. Let's see how that works. I'll add a new item to the Microsoft list in SharePoint and save it within the list. We can see that there's a new list item, but it doesn't yet show up in our Excel sheet. Well, we can just select the Refresh All option under the Data field, and the Excel sheet will be updated with all the correct information from our list for us to create tables from, analyze, or any other function that you want to use in Excel. You can save that Excel file anywhere and update it when you want the most current information. Tip number two is adding default columns. Microsoft Lists provides you with default columns that are automatically generated. We just need to enable them. We can gather the list item ID for referencing our tracking or usage in Power Automate. We can enable a created by field and many others that are there that we just need to enable for them to show up on the list. You can use these to quickly generate information about your list items without the hassle of filling in additional information. To add default columns, select the add column option in your list. And rather than selecting one that you need to customize, select the Show and Hide Columns option. You'll open a panel which shows you all of the available column options. I want to enable the ID column and the Created By column in this case. I'll enable them, and then I'll select Apply. You'll see your columns appear for you, and you can always reorder them by simply dragging and dropping them within the top level of that list. You're always able to disable and add more columns by accessing the Show or Hide Columns option again, disabling or enabling the ones you want or no longer need, and then confirm with Apply. Tip number three is creating custom views for your list. You're able to group together the list items based on certain columns within the list. Let's say that we wanted to group together this list based on the user who submitted the project idea, as that is what this list is about. To group together columns, enable the column title and select the group by the column title name. We can see that the list is now organized based on our selection and you can access different views by doing that process again for any column type that you choose, such as a yes or no column as well. Now, we can also save this view to make it accessible for anyone that wants to use it later. To save a list view, select the All Items drop-down, and then select the Save View As option. Name your view, and leave the option of the Make This a Public View enabled. Then, select Save. When users select that filter option, that view is now accessible for other users to quickly view and access any time that they wish. All users are able to create their own views and then save them to the list for others to be able to use as well. 
You're also able to make your custom filtered views the default list view by selecting the set current view as default option. When users access the list, they'll see the default view that has been saved. That was three helpful list tips and tricks. We hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and use the links in the description below to access our Udemy courses.